gosh. Hey there, friend. Ignore the fact that I'm out of breath. I was just chased by this massive rat, but I have been uh, wearing a... Zoom in. Been wearing a, a Seiko turtle. And I thought I'd come down here and share my wearing experience with you. Since I don't have cell reception down here, I had to print my notes out. Let's talk about the measurements and the build quality. As far as the case diameter, I measure about 45.5 millimeters. The lug to lug is 48.1 mil. This has a lug width of 22 millimeters, a thickness of 13.7 millimeters, a weight of 129 grams. This uses the Seiko 4R36 movement, and as far as accuracy, I've been getting plus 5 to plus 7 seconds per day, which is well within their quoted statistics, quoted specs. Let's go with that. It has a stainless steel case, a non-signed screw-down crown. The King Turtle has a sapphire crystal with this massive cyclops on it, and the bezel is ceramic. Now here is a quick shot of how the watch looks on my six and a half inch or 16.5 centimeter wrist. You can tell that 48 millimeter lug to lug is doing me a lot of favors. As I rotate around, it does have nearly 14 mils of thickness, but I think it wears it extremely well. On the back, you have a signed Seiko pin buckle system thing. Then going back around, there it is again and then back to the dial. And if I can rotate my wrist far enough around, it also has a Seiko signed keeper for the strap, which is extremely long. It could probably fit down to a six inch wrist. Wanted to include that as well. Now here is a quick loom shot of the watch. You can tell in the bezel you only have the single pip at 12 o'clock. You don't get a fully loomed insert, which is kind of disappointing. The hour and the minutes hand are very easy to differentiate. You even get a bit of loom on the seconds. Then you get great orientation on the dial with the different marker at 12, 6, and 9. Loom is great on this watch. Seiko does it well, and this is no exception there. Really great stuff. Now let's do a couple of size comparisons and we'll start with the Seiko 5KX, 42.5 millimeters against the 45 of the Turtle. That's enough of that. Let's go ahead and throw up the Casio MRW200H, a very affordable diver, which I absolutely adore. That's enough of that. Let's go ahead and throw up another Casio dive watch. This is the Casio Dura, which is 44 millimeters, and it looks significantly bigger than the Turtle because the dial and the bezel just create a mass. Very different looking in terms of size. Then we have an Orient Kamasu. Those look pretty comparable on camera. 41 millimeters, 45. Let's go ahead and throw up a Tudor Black Bay 58, 39 millimeters against 45. How does that look to you? And the last one we'll do, I don't know why this wasn't first. This is the G-Shock 5600 square. There you go. Size comparison done. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I know the background looks different. There were some massive six foot tall green things banging on the door, wearing masks and stuff. It was really weird. Let me share what I've liked about this watch while I've been wearing it. Number one, it is incredibly comfortable. It is a rounded case. It is a soft case. There are no sharp edges. It is just a dream to wear in that regard. It does have a 45 millimeter case. So I was thinking, oh, this is going to be too big. 48 mil lug to lug? What? That's crazy. This thing wears way too good. It wears way better than I thought it would. I love that. And I know some people dislike silicon straps. I found it incredibly comfortable and easy to size to my wrist. Stretches a bit. Worked well for me. I also found the bezel incredibly easy to grip and use. My fingers didn't slip at all. I love the day date function. I love date functions 
I love day functions, so day date functions, I double love them. <laughs> Yeah, I enjoy. I don't think anybody's ever said I double love something, but I do. I double love day date functions. The sapphire crystal and the ceramic bezel are also incredibly durable, so I have no concerns about this getting scratched up or becoming illegible. And the texture on the dial is a really nice touch. It makes it very unboring. It's fun to look at, so I like the texture on the dial. That's what I've liked. Now let's talk about what I've disliked. I double love the day date function, but I slightly dislike what is on top of the day date function. The ultra wide Cyclops monitor looking thing. I don't really like that. I understand it's functional. I like being able to see the day date a bit better, but it's just kind of funny looking. Does the job though, I guess. I also find it a little bit top heavy because this is on a silicon strap. So the head of the watch feels very heavy and I needed to cinch the watch down kind of tight in order to keep it from flopping about all the time. And with a ceramic bezel, I would have loved to have seen a fully loomed insert, but we only get a pip at the triangle. So it's still functional, it's fine. It's just a ceramic bezel. I would have liked to have seen a full loomed bezel. That would have been great. That's what I didn't like. That's it. That's not, that's not a lot. So what are my final thoughts about the Seiko King Turtle? A couple of years ago, when I was really getting into watches, I bought a couple of Seiko 5 dive style watches, the 5KXs, because I heard everybody raving about the SKX. Oh, it's the best entry level watch. It's so comfortable. The case is amazing. I got them. I didn't like them that much. I didn't like how they wore. So on a whim, I bought the Seiko King Turtle. And when I got it, I thought, yikes, that's way too big. And it sat there in the box for a couple of months, six months, maybe even a year. And then I put it on my wrist again and forced myself to wear it. Now I get it. I get it because I feel about the king turtle and I am assuming the regular turtle how everybody seems to feel about the SKX and the 5KX. I just find it to be a fantastic everyday watch. I can putter about the house or putter about the sewer in it. I can go hiking in it. I can jump in the shower with it. I can even go into the office with it. Just don't tell anybody that I'm wearing a chunky dive watch into the office. It works for me in every single environment. I am a turtle convert. I'm a turtle boy. I like turtles. I only have, <laughs> I only have one massive problem. Now I want to try all the turtles. I want to try the Slim Turtle. I want to try the Aluminum Bezel Turtle. I want to try the Willards. I want all of them. And that's going to be very, very expensive. That's all that I've got. That's, that's my wearing experience. I got to get out of here. It smells like dookie. I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Whoa, whoa. Boop.